so what I'm trying to do here, um, I'm just going to the virtual lab, a portal, and see if we can look into, I'm gonna look into running. So when you log into a portal, you're gonna see something like this. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna see if I can run the program files in a portal, specifically for those that are having problems. So one of the things that I usually try to look is, is the, um, the U drive and see if this is gonna give me a problem or not. So let me go into the class and download the file. Hopefully we don't have any problem with this. I know a lot of you are having tremendous issue with this. So I'm going to see if I get the same problem or not. So, they should already have the school sites here. I don't know why it doesn't have it. Should already have the school sites in there. But anyway, let me just um, copy this. Let me see if this actually works. Yeah, I mean, kind of works. I just want to log in into my account. Okay. Two factor authentication, don't forget. So you can get that text message on your phone or an email and the whole thing i gotta do here is just i'm gonna go to learning module and remember we're gonna go to a that's a week two all the way down where we have the assignment and uh, here we're gonna go to the rubric i'm just following the same procedure okay i'm gonna download file here and I'm gonna unzip it I'm gonna zip it all right so um let's get this project done uh, don't forget to open Visual Studio and one thing that you have to keep in mind is that when you unzip the file you have to put them in the U drive okay let's just sign in later don't sign in now so don't forget that you have to make sure let me put this bigger so you can see. Um, you have access to to the U drive because this is one of the biggest problem that you are going to face. So let me um let me go into the U drive, and then what I'm going to do. Remember that I put my download into is here. So I'm just going to actually copy the entire thing, and I'm going to go into my PC, this is my U drive, and I'm just gonna put everything in there. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open uh, Visual Studio. So we're gonna start basically the project. This is something you're gonna do for the linked list and basically the other, the rest of the project. So you make sure that you do this, okay? This is, this is very tricky when it comes to a portal, and this is why you guys are having all of these problems. So create a new project, and then, you know, make sure that you get C++, console app. Okay, don't forget that. Now, here we can say, I don't know, a final vector, a vector, sorry, vector sorting project. Now, this is where the part that you have to do is very tricky. You see what it says location here? That is pointing to a directory that you don't have access to, that you're gonna have problem when you run it because you're not an admin. You don't have, you don't, you don't have the admin rights. So you need to change the location to the U drive. So you gotta go to your, then your PC, go to your U drive, and then your U drive, um, this is where I have my, my folder. So I'm gonna just click in here. This is what I downloaded and I'm zip. Remember, you have to unzip the file into the U drive, okay? So here it is, and here I'm gonna have my new folder. So this folder called Final Vector Project 
uh, sorting project is what they're going to use. And I want to play the solution and the project in the same file. So let's go create. This is going to come, you know, it's going to start structuring and it's going to start running the, uh, the uh, solution. Now here, when you do this, we can expand the source file and you're going to see that the final vector sorting project is already there. Okay. Now, what do we want to do? We want to import the file now that we need into my, um, you know, Visual Studio. So right click in the root file. Well, that's the like the root uh, file of your project. And then you, you can do different ways. You can right click what it says uh, source file. And you can do, you know, add a system item. But what we're going to do, we're going to import everything that we need instead of just bringing it one by one. So that way the system automatically is going to it's going to put, you know, the that HPP file in the location that's supposed to go and the that CPP file is going to put it where you have what it's it supposed to go instead of just you bringing it one by one. So right click the root folder, add assistant items, right? Add from a system item, click on there. And as you can see, we don't have the file here in the U drive. You see? My U drive is empty for this project. So that means I need to copy now the zip files to this folder. So let me go back into my, my U drive. This is kind of easy, but you have to know, okay? So I'm going to my U drive and I'm gonna look into that folder that I am zip. Remember that I, what I the one I am zip is right here. I unzip it right here. So I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna go into into this folder, which is the root folder of my project, but it is in the U drive, so I need to drop it right there. Okay, so basically, don't drag it, just copy and paste it. So what, what am I need to do here now? What I need to do is I'm going to bring, I can just copy everything that I brought from the other side. I can do that. Or you can actually close everything. You can close everything and you can go to the actual file now. And you can click the SLM file. Okay, the SLM file is going to open the solution for Visual Studio, but it's not going to bring all the files and you're going to have to do it one by one. I don't want you to do that because that's a waste of time. Okay, so just go here, right click, add from system, a system item. When you click in there, just, just bring in everything that we copy. Everything that we copy, you're going to bring it in. So. Uh, or you can just do as, as this. You can just copy, for instance, the CPP file, all the CPP file, you can copy all of that. The You can bring the HPP, and I think it does everything. And if you want, you can bring also the, the, the you know, the, the, um, the CVS file, but you don't have to. So we can just bring those three. Let's open it up. Then you'll see, that the header actually went to the header, the header uh, folder, isn't it? And the source file went to, to the source file. So you don't have to bring it one by one because it's gonna give you, it's gonna be a headache. So what you now do is what we have done before. So right click the root folder and you can do built. So it's gonna start building and compiling and doing all of that. It's gonna give you a couple of errors, that's fine. And then let's do a rebuild. It's the same thing. We're just trying to make sure that all of those links actually works the way it's supposed to. You see it says sign, it's match, et cetera. And the reason for that is because if you can see that final vector sorting project that I created, that CPP, it's just executing this hello world, okay? It's just executing this file. For instance, if I do a control S5, well, it's not gonna build because now we're having, we're having problems now. <laughs> So, but what happened is it's trying to run this file, right? Executing the other codes that I already have connected to, to that header, but it's not finding it because I need to copy the, the source code from the vector sorting. Okay, that's the same process that we did in like you know in your local computer. So we need to copy the source code from the vector sorting and we need to paste it into that new file vector sorting project that we already created. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna do, you can click clean, or you can click rebuild if you want it. You see, now it says clean, successful, or succeeded. 
Now we're going to do rebuild. And then what we're going to do now, we're going to delete. Yeah, you got those arrows because it's still running this vector sorting. So now the vector sorting, I want you to right click on it and click remove. Remove it again and just do a little a quick rebuild. You see, see, it's succeeded everything. There's no error. Everything looks fine. I don't have to bring the, the, the CVS file here because it's already connected to it. It's in the same folder. Once, because we already have it in our code and we already have the path. So once we once we run it, we want to look for it. We just we just actually um, you know, run it. So let's do a uh, control F5, and here it is. This is using a, a portal. So if you follow these steps, you shouldn't have any problem. Uh, let me hit uh, load the bits. The bits are already there. Let me do display all the bits number two. Then you see all the bits in there. So you can actually do that and not have any problem. The same process with the linked list for uh, the incoming week for the next week project and the other the other projects coming up as well. So I hope you learn a little bit more how to use a portal and avoid this no permission. Um, I think it's like an error message that you get when you execute the, execute the the file. It, it it was because of that because when you're running the file, you're running from the root folder that you don't have access. You have to run it from the U drive, okay? And you have to follow the procedures that I showed you earlier. So have a good one. If you have any questions, please let me know. I hope you learn now how to do this. And uh, keep me posted if you have any questions. Thank you.